Hello everyone, this is Rick and Calvin, and we're doing Game of Brothers, episode two. Yes. It's not just a one-off. <laughs> like many of you were asking. <laughs> what are we playing today? We are playing Summoner Wars by Plat Hat Games. Cool. An oldie but a goodie. Yes. Oldie in terms of the new board game craze. Ah, uh, yeah. But it's not exactly chess old. Gotcha. So you've played this one before. Yes. And you've lost at it before. Many times. So maybe <laughs> you'll reverse that this time. Hopefully. I cheated last game. Indeed you did. <laughs> we found out. We caught it in the edit. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so we'll have to be extra careful this time. Yep. Uh, but the way this game works, a bit similar to the Duke, in that you win the game by killing the other opponent's summoner. Gotcha. In this case. My summoner is Olden. I'm playing the Guild Dwarves. And your summoner is? Sneen. Uh, Sneaks. Sneaks? Okay, it looks like Sneens, but yeah, I read it wrong. Sneaks, the uh, cave goblin. Yep, the cave goblin. So you're basically the Zerg. Right. And that you have a bunch of weak dudes, but they're free. They take very little resources. Gotcha. And my dudes are, and you're really good at swarming people, like ganging up. So the more people I have around people, the more damage I would like, be likely to do. Yep, there's a few cards that'll give you that. Awesome. And mine are good against walls, basically. We like to tear down walls. So the way this game works is we have a number of units on the board. Mm -hmm. We'll summon more from our hand. When we summon them, they must be adjacent to a wall. Gotcha. Whenever we say adjacent in this game, that means orthogonal, not diagonal. Gotcha. Okay. A unit, you can see the big number is how many dice they roll to attack. Gotcha. You hit on threes or higher. Okay. Over here, the number of pips they have are the number of hit points. Okay. This is the cost. So notice most of your guys cost zero. Yeah. And then each type of unit has a special ability. So we each have three common units, three champions, and one summoner. Okay. So I'll go over um, my abilities first, and then you can go over your abilities, and we can talk about more abilities as we play new cards. Okay. But this will be the vast majority until we get to the champions. Gotcha. So starting on the board, and each uh, faction has its own setup card. Right. And then on the flip side is the turn summary. For me, my uh, summoner is Olden, summoner of the guild dwarves. He has six hit points. Hmm. He's ranged, and ranged means in a straight line, um, three spaces away. Gotcha. He'll roll two dice when he attacks. He has no cost because he's a summoner. And his special ability is Stone Melding. If he is adjacent to a wall, you only hit him or four, on four or higher. Wow. So that's his special ability. The Spearmen is really cool. I really like them. They're ranged units with one dice, but if they attack in melee, they get two dice. Interesting. Yeah, they're really cool. So they're kind of a reach weapon. Um, well, the, you can see he has a bunch of them. So we can right. chuck them. They can also use them in melee combat. Gotcha. Okay. The Defender, um, cost one, does one dice, two hit points, but if he's adjacent to an enemy, that enemy cannot move and cannot be moved uh, by so any means. it's kind of like a, a shield push kind of thing where he's... He basically locks him down. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, the Engineer, a one, one, and one, but if he's attacking a wall, he rolls three dice instead. Oh, wow. Yep. And that's it for me. And uh, when you summon new people, I forget if I said you do it next to walls. So that's why these guys are dangerous, because if they right. can break all your walls, and you'll get more walls as the game goes on, right. um, you can't summon dudes. Gotcha. So what about your units? Um, I'm going to go with my uh, summoner first. Sneaks, he is uh, a three-die attacker, uh, melee only. Uh, but at the end of my turn, I can exchange places with any cave goblin unit that I control. Yeah. So I can move around really quick. He can teleport, basically. Yeah. And he's got seven really cool. hit points, so he's pretty tough to kill. Pretty tough. Um, I'm going to go next with the fighters. I have two, f three fighters on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, they are one die roll, uh, zero cost, and melee only one hit point. Uh, relentless, cave goblins fighters do not attack during your attack phase. Instead, immediately after uh, my normal attack phase, I may attack with up to two cave goblin fighters that I control. So that's pretty good, because normally during the attack phase, you can only attack with three units up to three right but they don't count against that total gotcha so you can tackle three units and two fighters okay so the fighters they only move after the attack phase no they move normally 
But oh, okay. like, let's say they're already adjacent to someone, or you don't have to move someone because they're already in position. You could attack with up to five people if they were all in position. Oh wow! Okay. But two of them would be fighters. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. um, next, my berserker over here is a two hit die, uh, two cost melee only with two hit points, and he has a special assault. When this berserker attacks, it may attack all enemy units that are adjacent to it. Resolve each attack separately. He's really good. That's pretty powerful. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and it specifies enemy units. Some uh, creatures that can attack in all directions aren't specific. Right. So it, it could be allies. It. Yeah, gotcha. But he, he can control it. Uh, and the Slinger is a one attack die, uh, zero cost, ranged, one hit die, or one hit marker, pip. Uh, and they're reckless when attacking with this slinger. Only die results of four or higher count as a hit. Yep. So they're weak, and they're not very accurate. But they're cheap. But they're cheap. Yep. As so, goblins are. <laughs> Aaron would love them. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we're going to play until we kill one another's thing. We'll go over sort of the turn summary. The first turn is different than every other turn for balancing purposes. So let's gotcha. roll two dice. Whoever's highest goes first. So I got a nine. And I got a seven. So I will go first. So on the first turn to balance things out, um, since I'm going first, I start at the movement phase. Okay. And I can only move two units instead of three. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to go one, move my spearman up one. Um, each unit can move two spaces unless their special ability says otherwise. You can't move diagonal. Right, so you have to move like up and then over if you want to move over there. Exactly. Gotcha. So I move the spearman up one for one. And I'm going to move the defender up one for two. Okay. So that's my two units. I can attack with up to three still. I'm going to shoot with my spearman at the fighter. I roll one dice. I need a three or higher. Got one. one. So I missed. I def attack with the defender at the slinger. One dice, three or higher. Three. He only has one hit point. Okay. So when you kill creatures, they go into your magic pile, and that's how you summon new creatures. Gotcha. Okay. So it's like, uh, yeah, you just burn other people. Yeah, basically I summon them, I take their souls, right. and I'm going to use them to fuel my army. I could attack with a third, but I have nothing within range of anything that I want to attack, so I don't do that. Next is the build magic phase. If I had a hand of cards at this point, I could discard them into my magic pile. But I don't. So now it goes okay. to you. And you start at turn one with the draw phase. You draw up to five cards. Okay. So, so. Your, your hand, will, um, up to five cards. The other thing to remember is once you go through that deck, there's no reshuffling. If gotcha. you're out of cards, you're out of cards. Okay. Okay, cool. So now you have five cards in your hand. The first thing that you can do is summon, and gotcha. you summon creatures. Now, normally you couldn't do that on the first turn, but with the cave goblins, they have zero cost. So if you want, you can summon any zero cost units next to your wall. Okay. Cool. So I can just put that guy there. Okay. Put that guy there. Two fighters. And that guy there. Three fighters, okay. All right, so that's a lot more goblins. I'm very terrified. <laughs> the next thing you do is play event cards. Wall cards count as event cards. They're in your deck as well. Right. And event cards have look different. They just have a bunch of text on them. Gotcha. And you just do what they say. So, so if you have one you'd like to play, you can. Okay, but I don't have to yet? You do not have to. Okay. You, you could save it for next round or whatever, or discard it at the end of your turn for magic. Um, okay. You don't have to discard all the cards in your hand. You can save them for future turns. Okay, cool. I'll save that one then. You want to save both of them? Mm-hmm. Okay, so now to the movement phase. Up to three creatures, two spaces each. Okay. So it's a good idea to get your fighters next to people, because they're going to attack for free anyway. Right. Now there's no kind of like uh, sneak or uh, attack of opportunity or anything like that. Can there move. isn't, but I he's can't. locking down him and him, right? Because of his special ability. 
Gotcha. So they cannot move. And if you were move to move next to a defender, you couldn't keep moving. Gotcha. Okay. They would stop you. You can also attack walls. Walls have hit points. Uh, nine, I think. Yeah, nine. Yep. Okay. You can also attack your own creatures if you just want to kill them for magic. Okay. I will three... Three up to two spaces. Two spaces? Okay. No diagonal movement. I'll move him here. Move him there. You can move one more if you like. And I'll move him here. Okay. Now up to three units may attack. And then two fighters after that. Okay. So I'm going to use him and attack your guy here. As one of your three attacks. As one of my three. Okay. One dice. Three or more. No hits. Yes. This guy attack. Okay. One die. <laughs> Not doing great. You might want to use a different one. Yeah. You got one more attack. I am going to attack the wall. Okay. There we go. That's a hit. So one, one damage. All right. Now I can attack two more times. Yes, um, but you can't attack with ones you've already attacked with. Gotcha. Well, I'm gonna use. Wait, I've already used him. That guy can't do anything. Well, I don't have any moves then. Okay. So, now build magic. Would you like to discard any of those cards into your magic pile? Or would you like um, to keep them? While he's thinking, no. um, now I draw five cards, and then I'll do summoning just like he did. So this game, um, you can buy, there's two, car uh, two faction packs. So right. these two came together in one pack that came with a paper mat. Gotcha. Uh, there's another one of those, the Tundra Orcs and the Phoenix Elves. You can also buy, this is the Summoner, uh, the Master Set, which comes with six factions. Oh, wow. And this big board. Gotcha. Um, the, the hardcover board. And what's interesting about this game is that you can also... I'm going to summon him here for one magic. Yeah. And I'm going to flip it over so I can tell the difference. I'm not sure if you're actually supposed to or not, but we're not playing in the tournament, so gotcha. it doesn't really matter. So, you know, since you only have one of each type of champion, if you see me discard a champion, you know I'm not going to summon him later. Gotcha. So it could give okay. you some information, but we're not at that high enough level to have to worry right. about those kind of things, I think. Uh, so that was my summoning phase. I will play my event phase. I will pass, no, no events. Okay. And I will move. So I want him to go here. That's one, two, and three. Okay. And then I attack with up to three. Let's go here to, actually no. See, I'm gonna leave him here because I don't want that Berserk charging in. Gotcha. And he'll have to stop if you're not able to kill him. So that's why I'm going to leave him staying there. He can still attack though. So I have um, actually my Spearman attack here. Okay. Because he's in melee, he rolls two. Two. That's two hits. So he dies and goes into my magic pile. I will have this Spearman Chuck one here. Okay. For a miss. And for my last, I will use this def this defender. No, this defender to attack this guy. Okay. One hit. That's all I need. Wait. Hmm? There's only one attack today. Oh, you're right. I tried to cheat! <laughs> Still dead. Your first roll. I know. Um, okay, so I attacked. Now, do I want to build magic? I do. I'm going to discard this to build magic. And I'm going to whoa, also discard this to build magic. 
Okay. And I'm done. Back to you. Draw up to five cards. Draw three to replenish my deck. Yep. So, um, like I was saying before, uh, you can also buy reinforcement packs. So, for example, if you don't like um, the fighters of the cave goblins, you can buy a reinforcement pack that gives you other common units that you can replace them with. Oh, okay, cool. So you can do a little bit of deck building. That's neat. Yep, and there's also second summoner packs that come with new summoners as well as new uh, event cards for different things. So there's a lot of expandability to this game if you really get into it. Cool. But there's no randomness. It's not like um, it's not like um, Magic the Gathering. If you buy a pack of cards, it has everything you need for that army. Gotcha. Okay. So it's very balanced in that way. It's surprisingly balanced for, I think there's like 12 different factions, and they're all so different. <laughs> Wow. But they play with, like, similar abilities. Like, not necessarily abilities, but, like, one doesn't just overpower another one. Well, uh, I would say certain, like, uh, I'm not sure if this is true, but, like, let's say, you know, the Tundra Orcs might have an advantage over the Cave Goblins. Right. But I wouldn't say the Tundra Orcs have an advantage over everyone. Gotcha. If that makes okay. sense. So there could be matchup advantages, but it's all reasonably well-balanced, I think. Okay. So... You have no magic, but you can summon zero cost units if you like. Mm -hmm. Thing is, if you keep doing that and you don't discard any, you'll never have enough magic to summon your champions. Right. So. Which you don't necessarily need to. If you think you can overwhelm me with weak units. Right. That's certainly a strategy to try. I'm going to discard. No, you do that at the very end. At the end. Okay. Well, I'm going to hold these back anyway. Um, see, I have a wall card. Okay, so if you don't want to summon any units, yeah, you don't want to, right? Yeah. Okay, so you skip your summoning phase, now you do your event. You can put the wall anywhere you want, whether, whether there isn't a unit or another wall, on your side right. of the board. Okay, so... So notice, you have to summon before you place walls, so you can't place a wall and then immediately summon. It's, right. So you can't, like, teleport units to somewhere that need help. Right. But you can use a wall to block off weak units... Or to like you know if you put it further up, you're you know going to be spawning dudes into your opponent's section, for example. Right. Or you can place it back to give you like your range units the ability to duck behind something. There's a lot of different strategies with placing the walls. I'm going to place it here. Okay. And now, to, if you don't want to play any more event cards, you can play as many as you want. Gotcha. Um, if not, to the movement phase. Three units up to two spaces each. What would this be characterized as? This is an event. Okay. Yep. So I can play that now. You can play it now. All right. It's very good. This is what I talked about him swarming. Yeah. So I can play that. And then movement space. Um, all cave goblin units that I control gain the following ability uh, until the end of this turn. Uh, when this cave goblin attacks, Add one to its attack value for every other friendly cave goblin unit adjacent to the card that is being attacked. Mm -hmm. Yep, so right now, this would add one. So that would right. be a two. If you move this guy up, it would be a three, so on and so forth. Gotcha. Okay. And that's every one that attacks this turn. Oh, really? Yeah, it's all cave goblins for this whole turn. Oh, that's right, it is. When mm -hmm. it said gang up, when this cave goblin attacks, so it's... So it's for each one that attacks. Everyone has this ability for this turn. Nice. Nice for you. Yeah. <laughs> Real <laughs> nice. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, so... So three units, two spaces. I'm going to move... Hmm. Leave that guy there. I'm gonna move this guy up. Move this guy up. And... I'm going to move... Now, can I attack past my own units? You cannot. Like over top? Okay. Nope. The jungle elves have a unit that can do that. No gotcha. one else does. Okay. So I'll move him up here. So that's my three moves. Yep. Now you get three attacks plus two fighter attacks. Gotcha. Which I think you've only got three. Yeah. So. That poor defender. Yep. Yeah, he's hopefully going to get wasted. So I'm going to attack with this guy here. Yep. Three dice. Yep. Three hits. Three hits. He's dead. 
Take this into my magic pile. And now you may discard into your magic pile. And then it will be my turn. You're gonna discard two. How are you? Six, seven. All right. No reason I'm counting that. Pay no attention. Oh, you have a power card. I'm sure of it. So I'm going to summon. I'm going to spend four magic. Okay. Summon a champion. Oh. Of the guild dwarves, Baldar. Baldar. <laughs> um, he costs four. He does three melee attack. He has four hit points, and he has shield block. When he's attacked, you have to, um, no matter how many dice you roll, if you miss with any of them, all of them miss. Oh, shit. So I'm going to summon him here. Nice. And now, for my events phase, I'm going to play two magic drains. <laughs> oh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Damn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't. Good. I could only do it if you had more units than I did. Aha! Uh -huh. You should have done it next turn and not summon that guy. Still, it'll be fine. All right, so I can't do that, so I'm not going to play any event cards. Instead, I'll do movements and attacks. Let's move him up one, two, three. Okay. I will go ahead and... Go for the easy kill with Baldar here. Okay. Hopefully easy kill. Yep. Yep. Three hits. So that's one. I'll do this one. So that's two because he's adjacent. Yeah. One hit. One hit. They come out cheap, but they fall like wheat. And then I'll do this one. Okay. Two hits. Goblins fell mightily today. Then I build magic and two turn. Okay. I'll keep all of these. Four. Because now the thing is, do I ever think you're gonna have more than me? So do I get rid of the magic drains? Or do I keep them? Oh, don't forget about Sneak's ability also. At the end of your turn he can teleport to where any goblin is. Right. He just comes up, stabs people in the back. Or he can get somewhere, stab people, and then teleport away. He's one of the trickiest summoners to fight. It's yeah. hard to pin down. He's the opposite of like a, a king. Yeah. Like infinite movability. Yeah, <laughs> infinite movability. Yeah, pretty good attack, too. And heck of a lot of hit points. That's interesting. Okay. Wow. It's expensive. No reason. <laughs> Nothing expensive. It's, it's cheap. Oh. All goblins are cheap. Yes. And weak. Yes. Nothing for me to fear. Yes. <laughs> Precisely. Okay. So you summon first. Yep. If you choose to. I'm going to play both of these. Okay. Wait. That's after. Third. Yeah. Summon first. Summon these two. That's okay. That's my magic. I'm discarding. Yep. Face up. So two. Yep. Yeah, two. Uh -huh. I'm gonna place this guy adjacent to any wall. Here. Another berserker. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then. Events. Um, Events, I'm going to play Goblin Rage. Okay. Which all cave goblin units I control that have a summon cost of zero gain the ability uh, until the end of the turn. Uh, swift Strike. Once per turn, after attacking with this cave goblin, I can immediately attack with this cave goblin one additional time. Shit! Your Berserkers can't do that. Yeah. But your Slinger and your Fighter can. Mm hmm. Okay. And Goblin Invincibility. Hmm. Until the beginning of my next turn, when an opponent rolls an attack, uh, rolls to attack a cave goblin that I control, 
the unit only received wound markers from die results of six or higher. During oh, the attack. all right. That's not not fun. Yep. Now you move. Yep. I'm going to move this guy here. Okay. This guy here. And do you want to move your summoner? Summoner. I will move him. That's very good. Here. Okay. Now attacks. All right. So save your fighters for last. Right. Um, I'm gonna attack with this guy first. Okay. So. It's two dice. Two. I have two hit points. Uh, that doesn't do anything. Yeah. No, I'm just double checking. I was remembering okay. everything. Two oh, hits. He was dead. Yes. Alrighty. Um, so that's one. Berserker to Spearman. And? And Engineer. Yep. So Spearman first. Yep. He's done. One hit. And Engineer. Mm-hmm. Dead. Mm-hmm. Ah! One more attacker. A Slinger. Yep. To Baldar. So he needs a four or higher. Mm-hmm. One attack die. And hit. Now you get to do it again because of your swift strike. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's right. You put, <laughs> you put those on your own. <laughs> And a miss. A hit. Three. Oh. Four or higher. Yeah, because of the slinger. Don't let me cheat. <laughs> <laughs> now build magic. All right. That was a good turn for you. Yes. It's very good. It's about to be a good turn for me. You think so? Oh, yes. Okay. You done? Yep. All right. No summoning for me. Instead, I have one, two, three, four units to your one, two, three, four, five units. Mm -hmm. So magic drain, two magic. Dick move. Magic drain. It's a very dick move. <laughs> two magic. <laughs> Besiege the walls. Choose an opponent. Add three wound markers to each of their wall cards. Besiege the walls. Add three damage to each of their wall cards. <laughs> that was a dick move. <laughs> I told you it was gonna be a good turn. <sighs> now my movement phase. Well, Baldar needs to get next to a wall. Oh, but he can't. Damn it. I want to destroy them. I'll move him here. Move him here. That was two. Mm -hmm. Three. Okay. All right. And attacks. Let's do. Old into here. He won't kill it, but he'll hurt it. So old into here. Okay. I need three or more to hit the wall, just like everything else. The damage the wall. Hopefully, I hit the wall. Yeesh. But. Now, Baldar is going to do the same. All right. Three. He can destroy the wall. He just needs one hit. Now, the bad thing is that doesn't that's not magic for me. It just goes into your discard pile. Right. But, destroy the wall. If I can destroy the other one, you can't summon any more units. I'm not going to be able to do that this turn. Uh, so that is two attacks. Mm-hmm. So I'll do this one next. He's adjacent, so two, two dice. And I need two hits. And I got two hits. Very good. Look at all this magic I have over here. Hmm. About that. And another. Yeah, <laughs> your turn. I may have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have ten magic, Calvin. How hmm. much magic do you have? I used to have four. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Be a shame if something happened to your magic, Calvin. Oh, wait. I've never won this game. I already <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> um, you draw up to five? Yep. Okay. Now 
Uh, you may summon at your one wall. Fortunately, you can only do it from behind, so they're not going to be useful this turn. Right. And that wall's not going to be there much longer anyway. <laughs> There's, uh, this is also, there's an app version of this that's really good uh, for the iPhone and the iPad. I'm not sure if it's on Android or not, um, but it comes with, I think, the Phoenix Elves for free, and then you can buy the different factions, um, but it's very good as well. It's a great app. Drop the card. I'm not cheating. Sure. Sure enough. Um, I'm not going to summon. Okay. Events. Um. Nope. All right. Move. So this guy will move up two. All right. He'll move over two. Okay. And three attacks. Stay there. Let's see. One attack here to here. Mm -hmm. Dead. Where's the robot? Go ahead. Sure. Um, slingers cannot attack melee range, right? I just want to check something here. I'm sorry, what? Yes, they can. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I'll attack with him. Uh, and that's a hit. And there, and then I will attack with my Berserker. Two die towards Baldar. Oh, um, okay, go on. We, we've been we cheating something? a little, but I think it's okay. Because uh, these do not attack during your attack phase. They only, only attack at the oh. end. Oh. But I don't think it ma has mattered so far because they Not just really. want to kill them at the end. Yeah. So. Something to keep in mind. Okay. So two attacks versus Baldar. Okay. No, please. None. None. Baldar scoffs at the fat goblin. Hmm. Now would you like to teleport sneaks anywhere? Bold move. See how it pays out. I hope pays it does. Ooh. It's gonna hurt otherwise. All right, I'm going to spend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Champion. Champion. Groar. Champion of the Guild Dwarves. Cost seven. He has seven hit points. He does two melee damage. But he has Hammer Quake. When Gore attacks an adjacent card, all other cards within two spaces of Gore are also affected by the attack. Jeez. Yeah, but that's mine too. Um, oh, I gotcha. Um, but Gore is not affected by Hammer Quake, which is the okay. name of the ability. So he's a wrecking ball, but he wrecks everybody. <laughs> gotcha. He's a very large, large, strong dwarf. He's three foot eight. Or he has like, uh, I like to think he has like Mjolnir. Yeah. Because it looks like. It, lo it does look, look a bit like. It's like every time he forges something with one strike, it puts his maker seal on it. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> so we'll up to two spaces. And you can't cap diagonal. So it would right. be like one. But That's interesting because if I'm here, I could go. Yeah, maybe he could run away. He can't get far enough away. <laughs> They're can't. gonna have to sacrifice Boldar. <laughs> um, you can move into a diagonal space, though. So. Shit, I shouldn't have told you that. Yeah, but it would still. Ah, yes. Thank you. Sh Shut up, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's it. I don't think I need to summon anything else at this point. I wish I had more walls. It's the only thing that concerns me. At you this and me point. both. But for my um, event card, I'm going to play Heroic Feet. Choose a unit. Add two to his attack value for the remainder of this turn. That's why I wanted to get him out of the way. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two. I'm going to go one, two. And then 
I'm gonna go one, two. It's very far away. <laughs> Let's make sure. Yep. And now he's gonna hammer quake. Um, by the attack. So I only roll once. Okay. And it just affects everyone within two. Equally though. Equally. But I roll four. Right. It's, it's craziness. Yep. So that's gonna be him, him, and him. Gotcha. And none not of him, my no. dudes. Why not him? It's diagonal. One, two. Oh. Within two spaces. Gotcha. Okay. All right. That's four hits, Calvin. It's a lot of hits. So he dies. He dies. He dies, and he takes four. It's a pretty good turn for the guild dwarves. I'm not going to lie. And then when it comes to building magic... Only going to fold one. Now it's your turn. I forgot to build magic last turn. Go ahead. Okay. Because you're supposed to go there. <laughs> you're sitting here for some reason and I just didn't put them there. That's fine. Alright, so draw for me. Yep. One, two, three, four. You've got some magic now. A little bit. I wasn't able to steal it. So I am going to spend one magic. Okay. One magic. And summon the Larf. Oh. A champion of the cave goblins. Okay. And he has a neat ability called magic augmentation. At any time, a player may remove cards from the top of their magic pile and place those cards under Blarf. Add mm -hmm. one to Blarf's attack value for each card under this card up to a maximum of four. So he starts with no attack, mm -hmm. but now he has four. Oh, all right. And he's melee. Mm -hmm. and he has five hit points. Okay, so that's your summon. Or would you like any one of them? And I would also like to move this guy here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, event cards. I'm gonna put this here. It's a good idea. <clears throat> nope. Doesn't really All right. useful at this time. Or are they? Uh, if they were, I'd play them. <laughs> um, now, move. three units, two spaces. Three, two. One, let's jam. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. You don't get that reference. Nope. So this guy is going to move up here. Okay. This guy is going to move over here. And I'll stay. I'm going to move this layer. Mm. Nah. Okay. So, attacks. Okay, so Sneaks will attack Baldar. Three dice. But you all have to hit, hit with all of them. Yes. A hit. A hit. Huh? And a hit. Oh, you son of a bitch, he's dead. Baldar is dead. Baldar, no! Now. I will attack with Blarf. Mm, yes. Well, he can't kill Gror in one hit, but he can certainly knock him about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, four attack die. Four. One hit. Two hits. Three hits. Three. Three. All right. And that's it. Mm -hmm. But Sneak may teleport. And he will. Very nice. And you may build magic as I draw. I think I will do that. My turn? Indeed. All right. I will 
got you on the ropes. I hope. We'll see. Maybe. <laughs> oh, wait. I have to be careful. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, no. Okay, so I don't summon anyone. Okay. Instead, I play reinforcements. Choose an opponent. If you have fewer units than them on the battlefield, which I do, yep. I may immediately summon up to two common units for free. Well, shit. Yeah. So I'm going to summon a spearman. But I have those permanently. So. What? But I have that power permanently. I can just summon oh, yeah. as many units as I want for free. <laughs> and another spearman. So that's okay. my two. Um, and then, why not? Let's do heroic feet on Gore again. Make him a four. Okay. Movement. So one. All other cards, so he'll hit my wall too. Gotcha. Which sucks. Yeah, I can't hit sneaks. Is there anywhere I can get to sneaks? Well, I'll hit your wall. That's something. Okay. Actually, I could do this. Dang it. Yeah. I wasn't going to say it this time. Yes. <laughs> um, and do then your dirty magic. One, two. And then one, two. All right. Oh, okay. Let's attack with Gore last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the good news is if I kill them, I get the magic. Uh, so one. No fair. One, two. Actually, let's do this spearman here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to kill a lot of my own units, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be great. So two. Hope you don't kill any units. One hit. Um. I'm not gonna die. He won't though. So that's within three. So one dice there. Yep. Dead. And now Gore wrecks everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Four dice. Only two hits. So he dies. He dies. Two hits here. He dies. He dies. Two hits to this wall. Two hits to sneak. And that's it. Gore himself is not affected. Um, build magic. Mm -hmm. I don't think I will, actually. So I'm done. All right. I only need to do one more hit point to him, don't I? Mm-hmm. Then I win! You need to do six to Olden. Although... Almost vulnerable. So, I am going to summon. Okay. With your very broken wall. With my very <laughs> defense at it, this point. It's just one stone. <laughs> it just hasn't been broken yet. <laughs> it's like a video game, though. <laughs> so, like, it's rendered as one stone, but it still takes up the whole thing. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or like Minecraft, where you keep like it keeps cracking until it finally breaks into nothing. Yeah. Um, my berserker. That'd be a fun deck to have invisible walls. Oh. So, so like you have a thing here that the other opponent can't see. And right. You mark like where the walls this. are. Yeah. 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 That would be. That'd be fun. Because they they wouldn't know where to hit. Yeah. Because you could spawn here. Yeah. But it could know. be any of these four places. And then you spawn like here. And it's like what the fuck? <laughs> Cody, give me a call. Yeah, I'm sorry, not Cody. Colby. Colby. Yeah. He, Fix that in the edit. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> he's the designer of this game. Gotcha. I have a brother named Cody. Ah, that's why. Colby. Yeah. Colby. Like the cheese. I can't. I can never remember how to pronounce his name, so I'm not gonna try. It starts with a D. Douche, maybe. Gotcha. He's a cool guy. A really cool guy. See. This, <clears throat> I'm going to play. My plot hat game is in Ohio. Is it? Yep. Northern Ohio. Cool. Very cool. Hmm. Okay. So that's event. Yep. Any more and... events? <clears throat> you haven't gotten. Goblin Rush yet? Nope. That help to get Blarf next to my summoner. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what Goblin Rush does, doesn't it? Oh no, it won't help. 
Blarf. He has a no. He has a one. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <clears throat> Think you're in trouble, Calvin. Probably. I've been in trouble since the start. <clears throat> All right. Then I'm going to play Gang Up. Okay. Uh, Goblin Horde attack. Uh, any additional units adjacent to a card I'm attacking, I get that many. Poor Gwar. He's going to get ganged up. Gwar is not long for this world. Yep. <laughs> All right. Movement. So move him here. Uh-huh. And move him here. Okay. Get out of range. And attack. Actually. You can move Blarf if you want. Thinking thoughts. Okay. Nope, I'm not going to do that. So I'll attack with Berserker. Berserker first. Grawr. All right. Two attacks. Yep. Both must hit. No. Huh? Uh, no. Wrong guy. Oh, that's right. I already killed that you guy. Killed that. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two attacks. Yep. Hit. No. Hit. No. He's still alive. Two left. It's gonna be hurting. Now I attack with Blarf. No. Four no. hits. Aha. Aha! One hit. He lives! Yeah, but these other twos add up to a six. <laughs> Grar. It's gonna finish everything. Build magic. Do you build magic? Indeed. Now, now I draw my walls. Which do me no good. Yeah. No. You don't draw them yet. Draw them at the beginning of your turn. I know, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. I need to... to... <laughs> That's the thing about, because you're summoning zero creatures, you're really burning through your deck. Yeah. So you gotta win fast. They do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> gotta win fast and keep them away from Groar. Yeah. All right, well, I might as well summon. I'll summon two engineers. And then I'll build... Two walls. Uh, fine. Poor wall, but your wall is more poor than mine. So if I go one, two, I still won't hit that, so I'm going to stay there. Keep him there. I'll move him up one. That's two. Olden, go one, two. Okay, um, let's go ahead and attack with the Groar, because no one of mine is in within reach, but I only get two this time. Yep. One hit for the wall, which kills it. Yep. Uh, Blarf's still alive, and this guy takes one. Right, because he's within two. Yep. Um, so now I'll attack with this engineer. All right. A hit. So not dead. And I'll attack with this spearman. Yeah, he is. Is he? It's a five. Yeah. Bye bye, Blarf. I don't think I get all those. But no, I should, you should check. It should just be his card. The check. I'd like you need it. <laughs> True. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'd have to look it up. So I'll just take him. All right. And then we'll discard those. Oh, and this would have got hit too. Mm -hmm. uh, so I attack with two. So one left with the spearman. He does. He does. Like so. I'm going to discard this for magic. Now it's your turn. All right, so I pick up yep. my last three cards. Your last three cards. And... At least you have a wall. A wall? Yeah. I broke the other one. 
I noticed with Mjolnir. Both of them. Mjolnir. Coming for you, Sneaks. <laughs> He's got no goblins. It's just him. It's him and his wall. <laughs> it's a nice wall. So do you summon? Mm-hmm. Whom do you summon? Those dudes. Do you event? No, I do not event. Do you move? I do move. Run away, run, run, run away. Pretty much. <laughs> now I attack. All right. Slinger, the engineer. Okay. One. Four or higher. Miss. Fighter to Spearman. Okay. One. This means a three, though. A hit. You got it. Do you want to teleport sneaks anywhere? Uh, nope. Okay. I'm not you, gonna give you that win. Do you wanna build your last card for magic? I'm out of cards as well. Five. Yeah, but you can do things with yours. I'm gonna do a thing, actually. It's gonna be great. Oh, this is actually really good. Sheesh, so is this. I mean, there's no reason to build it for magic. Yeah. So. All right, so I summon an engineer for one, and then I summon my other champion, Thor Core for six. Uh, he is a ranged three attacker. Shit. He only has four hit points, but once per turn, whenever one or more wound markers would be placed on him, I can spend a magic point per to stop the wounds. That's OP. He's pretty all right. So he'll go there. And I might as well summon the rest of them. Well, no, because Gore will destroy them. <laughs> Poor Gore. Uh, we'll summon one more. Okay. Then I'll save the rest of the magic for Thor car. All right, so three. I really want to destroy that wall. But first, one. Go here. He's in trouble. Go here. I don't hit anything. Hmm. All right, we're going to go one, two. Okay. One. And one. Okay. I will attack with my engineer. Okay. To here. Only one dice. Hit. I'm going to attack your wall for three. Mm hmm. Because he's an engineer. Ball. Zero hits. Nothing. And he's going to attack your wall for three. I do not build magic, so it's your turn. So I draw. Oh, just what I needed. Nothing. And I summon Ooh. the eater. Oh, he's pretty good. He's not that great though. He eats common units. Just literally destroys them. Oh, wait. Do you want to read it for the audience? Uh, okay. <laughs> so the Eater is the champion of the Cave Goblins. He's a three attack uh, and six health, melee only. And his special ability is Feed the Eater. At the end of my attack phase, I must destroy any one common unit that is adjacent to the Eater. If there is no common units adjacent to the Eater at the end of my attack phase, I discard uh, this champion card. Yep, he starves. So, so I thought that only meant my <clears throat> own units. No, no, no. But this is cool. Yeah, so you can like put him here, attack him, and then just eat the Engineer, shit, for example. Shit. 
That's what I was going to do. You didn't give me that. <laughs> so yeah, he's pretty cool. But you have to keep common units around him or right. he dies. He would be good early game. Yeah. Or against someone like the cave goblins that have tons of common units everywhere. Right. So I attack Thorcor. Do you want to move sneaks before you start attacking? Do I have to? Just throwing it out there. Yeah, I guess. Okay. So who's attacking? The eater? The eater. Two Three third four. Miss. Hit. Hit. I'll spend two magic to ignore it. Figured. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I may only spend one magic point to prevent one of them. Oh, okay. So you still take one hit. I still take one hit. <clears throat> Good. Almost cheated. Mm-hmm. I noticed. Huh? I saw that. And so he eats him. Yep. Well, at the attend end of my attack phase. I still have oh. an attack there. Okay. So I will attack him. Not going to attack the wall? No. Okay. I just, you know. I don't options. need to kill walls. Options. I need to kill units. <laughs> so. You had to get that magic that you're going to do something with. I need to get by him. <laughs> <laughs> and so you do. And he was going to wreck that wall. Now he dies. Yep. All right. I cannot draw. I gotta get through this guy. All right. I don't want to summon anyone. Okay. I don't want to play any events. So I'm gonna go one, two. I'm gonna go one, two. I know what that looks like. It's gonna be okay. Because <laughs> it's once per turn, so I can still use it on my turn to mm -hmm. magic, you know. And then I'm gonna go one, two. Alright, so let's do Thorcar first to here. Three dice. Okay. Two hits. Just flip it over. Oh no, sorry. Thorcar. Alright, now the defender. Does here to here. Okay. Five, a hit. On the wall. And now Grar rolls two. It's two hits. So he dies. Two hits on the wall. I spend a magic to only take one hit on this guy, and then this guy dies. Hmm? Right? Yep. Yeah. And he's too far away. This takes two hits. Right? Nope. No, he's safe. And that's safe. Okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> okay. Your turn. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want to play these. An end card. I play this! I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Event um, card. Instant death. <laughs> Arakiri. <laughs> Retreat. Um, Go out in a blaze of glory. Yep, pretty much. So, well, Eater's gonna die. Yeah. Can't save him. There's no common use to munch. But, but he can kill something first. <gasps> okay. Good luck. This is not gonna work. <laughs> you attacking uh, with who? Roar. With this guy. Okay. Three dice. So nice. You need one hit. There's a hit. Groar, you did so well. <laughs> so destructive. Magic. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Technically. And eater. <laughs> yes. Three. Okay. <sighs> Have to fit. All three times. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. It's once per turn. I only have hit twice. No, per turn. It's your turn now. It was my turn last time. Yeah, but it's once per the owner's turn, right? No, once per turn. Not once per round. 
I have a turn. I use it on my turn. You have a turn. I use it on your turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So he takes one. Eater dies. Does it say discard or? Discard. Okay. All right. Here we go. Summon the defender. Uh, there's no reason to, but it's fine. So one, two, stay here. I'm gonna try to kill Summoner versus Summoner to end it. I just need one hit, right? Mm-hmm. Two dice. One hit. Good job. Well done. The dwarves win this time. We both yep. ran out our decks. Which is further than I've gotten in any other game. Yeah. But I think that was only because of the mechanic that I could just use cards. <laughs> so the big question is, did you have fun, Cal? I did. So did I. I did have fun. So that's the important bit. <laughs> So yeah, this is was two of the 12 factions, and you can mix and match them. Uh, these two are, interact pretty cool with one another, um, since they're made in that, you know, you can only buy them together, uh, these particular two. So they're made to interact with one another. So you have a bunch of dudes, but uh, Thor or Gorgar or whatever can just mow down dudes. Right. So it's pretty cool. Um, and there's a ton more armies. And yeah, it's it's an awesome game. It's pretty fun. Like, it's definitely one of those games where, like, tactics, like, typical chess tactics, mm -hmm. like, aren't really a thing. Because things just change too quickly. Sure. Not really too quickly. I mean, they're, they are predictable. Mm -hmm. But it's not like you're planning six moves in advance. Sure. I mean, you can kind of plan, like, okay, am I... I mean, a lot of it is, like, what you draw. Right, and then the roll of the dice. Like you're more likely to hit because you hit on three three sixes. Yeah. So that's why sixty six so percent like chance uh, to hit. Yeah. Um, so you're more likely to hit, but you don't always hit. Yeah. Right. So you try to put yourself in a position to where if everything goes wrong, it's not terrible. Right. <laughs> but like it still can be clearly. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, like all the armies are so much different. So the tundra orcs, um, not only do they have walls, but they also have ice walls that they can summon, which are much smaller. But the thing is, their summoners, their summoner can attack with the walls. Oh. Which are pretty sweet. That's pretty cool. Like tower defense, then. Yeah. That's neat. It's pretty cool. And then um, the Phoenix Elves, for example, they a lot of their units are precise, which means they don't roll dice, they just hit. Oh, but they have limited attacks, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're pretty weak, but they never miss. Um, you have the, uh, the Benders who are like telepathic people, yeah. and they can turn the enemy to their side. Whoa. Which is pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Uh, the filth are kind of like, kind of like dead spacey, kind of, and that they have really weak common units, but they can um, evolve them into like terrible creatures. <laughs> neat. <laughs> so, so instead of having champions, they have like eight evolutions. Oh wow. And they're all unique. So they're pretty sweet. Wow. Yeah. So it's like the Zerg. A little bit in that way. Yeah, yeah. Like they evolve sure. and make more powerful versions exactly. of the original organism. Yep. And then you have an undead army that can bring back dudes from the dead, you know, from like your discard pile. Oh, wow. Yeah, so there's all kind of awesome things. That's neat. So maybe we'll play more of this because yeah, there's tons of variety. It's only like a half hour, 40 minute game. Yep. At um, most. Definitely. And yeah. We were like taking our time and reading out the cards. Sure. And everything too. Yeah, so. once you know them, um, it doesn't take. Quite as long, yeah. And you know, it's it's going to because you don't reshuffle the cards, so at some point you run out of resources, mm -hmm. right? So it, it's not going to last forever, yeah. Which is nice as well. Um, but if you do want the nice board, you need to get the master set, which is probably it's. Um, it used to be fifty bucks when it came out, but it's much cheaper than that on Amazon nowadays. But it comes with six armies. It comes with the board, the dice, the counters, stuff like that. If you get uh, the cheaper one, which you can get the Tundra Orcs and the Phoenix Elves, or the Guild Dwarves and the Cave Goblins. Um, it'll come with the two armies, and it'll come with a map like this, but it's paper. Gotcha. And it, it, it has everything else, but it has a paper map. Instead of just a cardboard foldable. Yep. Like. And the other thing, too, it's not just a two-player game. You can right. actually play with four players with two boards. Side by side? Side by side. And the boards wrap. So this 
attacks here. Holy shit. Yeah. That's neat as hell. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, that's pretty cool as well. I don't have two boards, um, but uh, Kelly has a set too. Um, although I, I do have the paper mats. Gotcha. So maybe we could try that at some point too. That would be cool to play on like a, a, a tabletop simulator. And have the board actually wrap in yeah. like a 3D thing, so you could you could spin around the board and look at the army and everything. Sure, that'd be neat. Yep. So so you're playing on teams at that point. Yeah. It's one team versus the other. Team. So neat. yeah, it's an awesome game. Uh, one I highly recommend, and you can play it casually, or it's a I there's at least used to be I think there still is a tournament scene for it. Yeah. So uh, it's pretty great. So thanks so much for joining us. That's episode two of A Game of Brothers. Mm -hmm. Rick wins. Again. He didn't cheat this time, I hope. That we know of. Ah. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for joining us for A Game of Brothers. You can see more of videos like this, not only in YouTube by subscribing, but you can also see it in Patreon at patreon.com slash blindwave. We do Twitch as well, twitch.tv. You can see us seven days a week. Yeah, now. <laughs> yeah, so thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.